Bienvenidos a la Asamblea y feliz semana de español. Um, as Spanish-speaking students and as second language KC students, Spanish plays an integral part in our roles um, as KC students and in our lives. Um, we've learned to extend our arms and open up our minds to the beautiful nuances of this language, as if every enye and every tilde was written in braille, as if the Spanish tongue is now our own. We've learned to embrace the language and we are proud to have it as a part of who we are. As of now, Spanish is the primary language in over 20 countries in the world, and it's, it's estimated that about 460 million speakers around the world speak Spanish as their first language, and that number increases to over 530 million when we count people who speak Spanish as second language all around the world. As of today, Spanish is the fourth most spoken language, and it's recently has been demonstrated that Spanish is <laughs> sorry i'm sorry just a second spanish is spoken more in the united states than in spain itself which demonstrates the widespread of the language luckily here at kc spanish is offered a second language to help widen the avenues of our students okay so uh, i'm going to spend the next 90 seconds to two minutes uh, to talk about the diversity in latin american and spanish culture so Latin America and Spain are home to so many different dances, music, food, art, and monuments, yet it all seems like one. And that's because, that's because it, it seems like unity through diversity. In the next two minutes, there's no way I can do justice to every Spanish country, so we'll talk about the birthplace of Spanish, the Iberian Penin Peninsula, which is now roughly known as Spain. Now, I might visit next summer, so here's how my travel plan looks. Now, we start in Barcelona and Tarragona, where we learn about Roman architecture by Antoni Gaudi. We also inhale the football in the air. Next, Spain isn't all Roman Catholic. We go south to Andalusia, where we stop for a, gup, for a cup of gazpacho. And we also learn that Andalusia was once ruled by the Moors, as seen in the Mosque Cathedral in Cordoba, or the Alhambra Palace in Granada, where the sultans once lived. We then learn about Spanish food. Did you know that the word arroz, which is the most basic staple in Spain and Latin America, which is rice, actually comes from Arabic? We then take a quick stop to look at Islam architecture and how it rubs shoulders with the Renaissance in Alcazar in Sevilla and Zaragoza's Alhaferia Palace. Now we then take a quick break for Torijas, which is a native desert of hard bread milk soaked in milk and covered with sugar. Now, just before we take a three-hour train to Toledo, which is the land of three cultures, where Jewish, Muslim, and Christian communities have lived together and thrived together for centuries together. Now, Spain isn't only ancient architecture and amazingly yummy food. With such a diverse past, there's no reason why modern Spain isn't as diverse. Now, Spain is only one of the most developed countries in Europe, with over 20 ethnic groups and immigrants. Now, this is just Spain. There are over 19, there are over 20 other Spanish-speaking countries all over the world. In South America, for example, you have Argentina, Bolivia, Ecuador, Peru. Now, if we took a plane to South America, this might be a much longer trip. So I'll keep it short. Spain has over 560 million people worldwide. Over 560 million people speak Spanish. They come from 22 different countries, and they're all united by one thing, which is one language, which is Spanish. Uh, thank you so much. Um, like Adi mentioned, there are over 20 Spanish-speaking countries, and um, what we've done is the Spanish department has set up a lovely exhibition featuring all those countries and their invigorating cultures. Um, you can come by the pre-primary section to take a little tour of our Crisol de Cultura. Now we have a few performances by our primary and middle school students. First up, I'd like to welcome Nikita, who's going to present to the audience some traba lenguas, as they are called in Spanish, which roughly translates to tongue twisters. Let's give it up for Nikita. Thank you, Adia. Soy Nikita, voy a decir las traba lenguas. So the first one is, como poco coco como, poco coco compro. Como poco coco como, poco coco compro. Como poco coco como co, poco coco compro. The meaning is, since I eat little coconut, I buy little coconut. This seems really easy in English, but it, it isn't. So now, are you all ready to go to the second one? Pablito clavo un clavito, 
que clavito clavo Pablito. Pablito clavo un, un clavito que clavito clavo Pablito. Pablito clavo un clavito que clavito clavo Pablito. Thank you. That. Now we have Leela, also from SS, who is going to be reciting a poem for us. Marty, she's been having a really bad network. Yeah. Okay, um, uh, gracias a todos por estar aquí y tenemos otros proyectos y cosas interesantes durante todo el día para que explores. Uh, um, we also have a short video that the primary uh, students will be presenting shortly. Adios. Thank, Thank you. you. Gracias. Bye. Yo soy de Cuba. Yo soy 